Okay, good afternoon, morning, evening, night, ladies and gentlemen. This. This what? Finish your sentence, boy. I have to, you know. Let's hear it. It's been a while since I've intro the cast, so I need to have like a. It has. Do you know whenever I get my my sinuses get like inflamed <laughs> from like an illness, right? The outside is fine, but the the inside triples inside. So there's like a layer with. with dead scabby skin on the inside mm. and i can only clear it by whipping the skin out on the inside oh that's lush it's the only way to stop the inf inflame i was speaking of stuff inside nose i've got to like i've got to shave my nostrils now like regularly oh. wait what do you not just oh. pull them out otherwise that hurts oh man. my god that's the worst yeah. I, I d what do you it's mean what you do just grab me a uh, yeah, with, oh, my that... with, with my fingers, because you just get it there, while you get it there, then you, you just you use that to flick it. And then you go, <laughs> Ow! No, that's like no. eye wateringly painful. It, they, they don't hurt at all. What? There's no pain to ripping your your, Maybe, like, your, nerves your nostril working. flare out. Yeah, there is. I've, th no, that's one of the most acute pains yeah, that's out. Why really? I, yeah. I, I, I do feel fun, to be fair. So I come at work, it's just like. Oh, yee. That's crazy. That's horrible. I got like a nose I've, hair I've never, But I've never had to cut my nostril hair. Really? Yeah. I've never had to cut... Because I, so I would you just... pull it out. I, at work, I'll just be like, you know, I'm waiting for this thing to load and I'll just do the trim. I'll do it like once every two weeks and it's fine. <laughs> That's a crazy, man. That's horrible. <laughs> Use a lighter. <laughs> no, don't. Not, <laughs> let's not bring up lighters, okay? Why? I've got a lighter. Oh, no. At work. <laughs> Because I have to, I have to um, burn off the ends of this uh, cable so it's not frayed, and I, I, I burn it, but then I burn it enough so it catches fire, and then I just let it catch fire and see what, what it does. <laughs> nice number one victory, Roy. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'm your host, Alex, joined by Jim and James. I'll, I'll be your host, Alex. Why don't you do an intro, Jim and James? I just did. No, do an intro. <laughs> <laughs> do an intro. No, well we're not doing this again, where we all <laughs> just take turns doing it. <laughs> yeah, we do three <laughs> intros every <laughs> episode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't need to. Welcome to the Jar Media Jar cast, where James is joined by his host, Alex. You know what, I found out that my hair on this side is significantly bigger than that on this side. I've got lopsided haircut, hair. Then. No, because there's this cheek called hats, right? <laughs> and when you've got hats, you can cover your looking hair but as as me i don't have the privilege of wearing a hat because my other cast members always as wear hats <laughs> as you as but you don't the person, even own a hat i do name so two. you rarely wear hats bro i'm not allowed because you, <laughs> you do always allowed. wear them no you just gotta call no, no, I, 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 I this isn't just me this has been backed up by someone else so, like, this isn't just me being angry. No, so it's 2v2. Yeah, it's 2v2. And they agree with me, and that they're women, so instantly their opinion is significantly more valuable <laughs> than ours. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. But if you've only got a grey hat, then just say, I'm wearing a grey hat no, today, Give me guys. your grey hat, then. Then I would Let me wear... never have that issue. See, you don't have a hat. So you you just hat. want Alex's hat. <laughs> no, I do, I do. I have a grey beanie. You just got the white one back. <laughs> yeah. The only time I've seen you in a hat is when you took Alex's. Or it's the Call of Duty hat. That we don't have that hat. Oh, we do. Well, I did. Oh, we do. We have a whole Number one victory. I need to sort this hair out. Well, we need to sort out what's happening on the Jar Media Posdat right now. Yeah. Because before we get too deep into the show, we need to shout out those patrons over at the Jar Media Patron that make the audio versions possible and get their patron names read out on the first or second week of each month. What a funny little LARP that is. <laughs> Isn't that right? Mm, yeah, mm -hmm. a LARP. Funny names like Booger Nick and Booger Rick and Booger Dick. You guys got any any input there? Or? No. Just leave it at that. I like the John Media patrons. I'd say love is a bit far. I'd I I'd say love. You've got to earn love. Yeah, you've got to earn love, and only sandy tears get love. Anything below. The more money you give us, the more we'll love you. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I'm gonna just just for old times' sake. I just want to. I just want to assign everyone like an old name. God oh, no. Like okay. from the collection. Okay. I'm thinking for James. <sighs> hmm. Oh, there are some really good ones here. Yeah, James is a lot. Oh man, really good ones. Maybe Jay Diller. 
JJ Diller. That's not mine. That was a gym. JJ Diller. No, was no, Jim. that was you. That was you, man. No, no, that you was you. you. That's how you would introduce yourself. <laughs> but you know, J JJ Diller is a person. Doesn't matter. Okay, you're not just anymore. J Diller then. No, I'm pretty sure J Diller is a person. Okay, fine. Sausage crumbler then works. That's fine. You can be sausage crumbler. Is that better? I've got. I've actually got. I've, I do want to mention sausages. Oh can, my god! Can yeah, I mention yeah. sausages? Okay. We're, should we go into that in a bit? What do you mean? Like, what's it's that the whole what? thing? It's, it's gonna not, blow your mind. It's not a whole thing. Do you want to do that after house? No, no, no. Or? It's not. It's a simple case of. Um, have you ever seen those apple Bramley pork sausages from um, Tesco? Um, it rings a bell. I don't think they gave, they gave me diarrhea. They they straight oh. up gave me diarrhea. How many did you have? Did, I had did two. you cook them? I cooked them. I cook sausages properly because sausages you they, you never ever have a sausage round. <laughs> round? <laughs> I thought they were always round. No 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 because they you, nah nah nah. Well, no. you cut them in half. Not, yes, you cut them in half because no. you, you can cook <laughs> the insides better. So then you have a better cooked Long sausage. Ways. Yes, and then you and, split them. And, and you put it in like a sandwich. No. Well, yes, I put them in a sandwich, so you, but when you're cooking them, you want to split them. You cook it when it's in half. Yeah, yeah, no, but you, you no. get like... You don't need to do that. Ten minutes into the cook, and then you cut them in half. Then you cut them down the middle, then you put them face down. Cook the insides, Bella. I suppose you can, but... No, man. But, Ir but Irrelevant. But basically, <laughs> gave me gave me diarrhea, and they're the single worst sausages I've ever tasted. You know, like the f frozen bags of like the most generic cheap sausages... Yes. Taste significantly better than these sausages. Wow. The, the apple chunks were so big, they taste, they were like the size you'd find in an apple pie. <laughs> so you'd be eating <laughs> a sausage and then you just try chew this huge chunk of apple. Maybe you got a bad but, batch. But it gave, me, it gave me food poisoning, basically, and I've never <laughs> had food poisoning until I ate these sausages. Oh, wow. How bad? How bad was the poisoning? Well, I had to sh sh my, my poo was quite liquidy and I, I was pooing a lot. Were you, did you feel quite ill? And, were you getting the... the like, <laughs> I was, yeah, I was getting the bu the bubbles, yeah. and then I was yeah. myself. Yeah. Damn. And I Sorry disappointed, that, man. Yeah. And I wasted good them on good bread as well. <laughs> so yeah, if you ever in the shops, and you'll notice, you'll notice from now on, in the Tesco finest section, everything will be sold out. There should be shit tons of them. On <laughs> on on Tesco's website, they guess how many reviews? <laughs> guess how many stars they have? How many? Four. Two. They have two stars. Oh. Five hundred reviews. Wow. They're renownedly shit. Never buy them. <laughs> Does it, do all the reviews say gave me diarrhea? Yeah, probably. I I never looked, but it's pretty believable. Interesting. That's, that's disgusting, and I'm Grim. I'm sorry for you. But you've got to buy them now because I talked about it. Well, uh, I guess Jim has less to choose from, but I guess you can be gamer, Jim. Ugh. Ugh. What? Fine, you can be audio jungle gym. I quite yeah. like that one. Yeah. Jamie's not a junglist, though. Huh? You're not a junglist. An audio jungle. Junglist. No, you're not a, a junglist. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a junglist. Okay. Yeah. I'm not a junglist. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. I never claimed to be. So why are you audio jungle gym? Because audio jungle. Audio jungle. Where's that come from? Audio jungle. Oh my god. What's the law of audio jungle? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? Dude, this um, is like eight years old. <laughs> I have no idea about the audio jungle law. Audio jungle. What? Audio what's that? Audio jungle. Repeating it doesn't help me understand what it is. Alex, lay a beat down. Dun -dun 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 audio jungle. Dun -dun 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 audio jungle. <laughs> There, that answers it for you. That literally <laughs> just doesn't do anything. <laughs> well, I don't think we could have explained it any more clearly. Well, we can explain it in the housekeeping segment because we got to get moving. Because we got, some, I got some stuff we got to talk about, man. Huh? Stuff is, there is movement. <laughs> right. There is inertia. Inertia. And we'll talk about that in a moment. But first, we're gonna do the housekeeping segment where we round out some some of the conversations from the previous episode. Just like this interesting tidbit from Marcus Britt, 2896. Great to see Duck Fat Danny return for the cast. Yeah. James? What's the law with that one? I was hoping one of you guys knew what that meant, because I was doing some Googling and there's just nothing. That... I Duck think Fat it's... Danny? There's nothing, yeah. What's that? Uh, I won't go into it. We've already done the whole audio jungle gym thing. 
So, Doc Fat Danny. Yeah. What was that like? Made a, a return. A rival website. Last episode. Duck Fat Danny. Audio Jungle. Duck Fat. Duck Fat Danny. Duck Fat Daniel. <laughs> oh, my ear hurt. Ah. Hello Poyo 7 eq says, with a time code, I swear sometimes I'm convinced James is a cyborg who has this built-in automatic disagree button that just goes at random. And the time code was referencing when... Oh, I did a it was when I was telling the Max story, and I was like, yeah, some of the funniest moments are from when Max was on, and you're like, no, when? <laughs> no, no, I actually, I, I, <laughs> you're like, no, 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 no come no. on, come on, no, 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 come on, no, 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 no. Think of actually the funniest moments. They yeah. were conversations that had nothing to do with Max. You, you're thinking of conversations right now that are funny we've had on this cast, nothing to do with Max. But I think you're underestimating how many funny Max moments there were as well. There was a few, but we've had more Which... funny moments without him. Why are you shitting on Max? I'm not. I love Max. I love Max. I love Max. But I'm just. I, that's you're you're chatting shit. <laughs> I'm not. Because there's been more better moments what without. A strange him. hill to die. On. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not dying on this hill. And I'm just saying. No, but out of ev- everyone, every time he'd do something crazy, you would have the the biggest loving reaction to what he's doing. Yeah, because he's a dumb fucking <laughs> huge dog that was just uh, cute. Exactly. And, um, but I, I'm very upset at Elliot4927 who said, I thought the comment about Dream was bad, right? Comment. Comparing me to Dream. You don't look oh, anything right, yeah. like Dream, though. Um, yeah. This guy says, people said Alex looks like Dream, but he's kind of rocking the Quibble Cop aesthetic this episode. Whoa. That's too far. Um, um, to be fair, I'd say you you are more Quibble than, than Dream. Well, <laughs> like, no, are. come on. No, come on. You're You're looking at this negatively. Dream is in drama because he's possibly a groomer. Quebble Cop is cringy because he's trying to make an AI himself. But Which one the... would you rather be called? <laughs> the groomer or the AI cringer? But neither cringer? of those are about their looks, right? Like, how, who they are. Yeah, yeah, but, just because yeah. someone looks like we, Boris what? Johnson doesn't mean <clears throat> they are. Him. Yeah, but so are you, you'd you rather look like Dream? Um, well, I don't get to control it. And Dream looks like me. Everyone keeps saying it. No, they they don't look anything alike. Just because you've got curly hair doesn't yeah, mean you, you're you like... you don't look like Dream. Well, Only good. a little bit, maybe. You, you just have curly hair. hair. Only from certain angles. You have curly hair and you wear hats. That's like the only comparable. Do you sing like Dream? Give me a beat and maybe I'll let you know. Listen, if if you are Dream, then what is the point of the mask is? Only he would know the answer. Because then the fact is... Quite like that parody song. Huh? Where he's like... Oh, man. How does, how does the chorus go? Outside? That's what the point of the mask is. How does it start again? Oh, whatever, man. Everyone knows. I don't know. It's just making fun of him, that's all. Okay. Whatever, man. But the point of the mask is because he... He is ugly. Um, I guess it was like a confidence thing. And then he got all the confidence to be crazy when he took the mask off. Crazy on stage. He went mask off. Yeah, he went mask off and went crazy on stage. So, uh, Elliot8082 said, Just ran into Jim, James and Ruben, playing Battlefield 1 on PC. Ruben got in my plane and I crashed it. Very epic. Can you you confirm if this happened? It did happen. Um, it did happen because apparently I have a really obvious name in games. Casa something, something Casa 35 cars? which is my business oh yeah so if you see Casa oh, you got that for, branding going on nice yeah I'm, I'm internationally known I'm a, a world world criminal this this is the second time though James In Battlefield. has been recognised on Battlefield 1 like a dead 10 year old mm. game old as hell that game yeah but I, I think it goes to show Jarlings have taste yeah you know not mm. playing Battlefield 5 not playing Battlefield 20 not playing Modern Warfare 3 not playing Modern Warfare 3, playing Battlefield 1, the only good one. Ooh, throwing shade at the battlefield. Uh, Dylan8664, so could you guys share which CBD products you use? Recently been hit with some anxiety for the first time in my life, which has ruined my sleep. And not really too happy about taking propranol. Bear, bear. Um, no. Uh, man up. No, just see, smoke a stogie and go to the gym. Um, that that's a joke answer. Okay, I I order whatever CBD gummies I can get on Amazon. I don't I don't look. It's just 
this looks like a decent... Like, you look at the price, like, products that are going to have a tiny amount of CBD are going to be really cheap. Yeah. Look for 30 to 40 pound bottle of gummies. Just eat them. I eat them every day. They're my, I, oh, it's the only way I sleep. So I just buy gummies and eat gummies. I get on, like, Amazon subscribe and save. Yeah. Like, the... I've got on subscribe and save as well. Yeah. Um, like 20, 30 mg of CBD. Yeah. Two oh, of Jesus. those. One um, a night. Yeah, I'll have two of those guys before I go to sleep sometimes. Not every night, though. Yeah, sometimes. Just if I fancy, like, a really good sleep and you wake up like, mm, that was a deep sleep. What are you, crazy? You got your damn mind? I tried this, like, medication oh, yesterday mind. for um, restless leg syndrome. Oh, yeah. yes. Boing, boing, it's supposed boing. to. It's, all, it's like a medication that can also be used as, like, sleeping medication. I don't think what we do is restless leg syndrome. What is it then? Oh, unless it's, it's like in you don't control. Like when I'm, well, it's, it's, it's you don't like control this. Though. Like this, you I'm do doing that. this. I'm doing. I'm choosing to do this because of anxiety. It's why I always do it. Restless leg is no matter what you do and what you you lay yeah, down or sit down, you feel insanely uncomfortable because your legs are like micro moving. It's like it's a whole fine condition where you basically yeah. you can't ever control it. Yeah, restless leg is because I did some reading on it because. Throughout my like work life, people have always been like, "Can you stop doing that?" Because people like feel it. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's anxious it's, energy. Yeah, it's, it's anxious. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's like a nervous energy. So I've always um, done that. But it's not restless leg syndrome. No. That is something totally different. Where it's it's not necessarily like leg bouncing. It's like you you your one might be like you have to stretch your leg out. Mm. You know, it's it's like yeah. a different thing. Well, I wouldn't have it again. It didn't do anything to me. Oh. Yeah. Might be because you don't have restless legs. Yeah. But it didn't make me tired either. In fact, it made me jazzed. Maybe it wasn't really? even what I thought it was. <laughs> yeah, it was like <laughs> an amphetamine. Yeah. Adderall. But yeah, yeah, but RLS is you quite did, horrifying. You joked, um, going back to the CBD thing, about like, just smoke a joint and go to the gym. But exercise no, is really good for sleeping. Well, yeah, that as well. But yeah, that's. I mean, the, it is partly true. <clears throat> yeah. In fact, I think it's more true. It, like, it's much more true because like it, I've been slacking <coughs> and stuff like that, but I've been hiking again recently. <clears throat> yeah, when you sleep so much better. Your when it comes to um ease. to mental health, I think nine times out of ten, medication shouldn't be in in any form shouldn't be your go to. It should be. Depends what you have though. Yeah, yeah, but that's why I say nine times out of ten, with like the most general mental health um, issues, yeah, being like anxiety, depression, the the less extreme versions of those, which will be more widespread, can be cured far easier with activity and doing things. Mm -hmm. I get what you're saying. Specifically, there exercise. is a tendency, especially in the US, where it's like. Yeah, it's a medicate. Let's go straight. Instead of seeing it as like one of many options, mm -hmm. you can try. It's like go to start there. Um, yeah, some of some of their like um, ADHD medication is like crazy in America. Mm. You're just giving people like meth, basically. Yeah, it's <laughs> just straight yeah. up. Um, Got him hooked. But uh, Crams9745 said, What's with all the bleeping lately? As a listener, it can honestly be really frustrating to listen to you guys laugh at something I'm not allowed to hear. Could we maybe get unedited versions on the Patreon? I'm not a fan of exclusive paid content, but it would be better than nothing. Um, the, the truth is, about 80% of the time when something is beeped, it's like nothing. And it's just, we find it funny to say, beep that. Um, and then the yeah. other times, it's like something that actually no one can hear. <laughs> so Wait, you no, you, you're guys. making it's it not out. Me. I don't get bleeped. It's no, YouTube. no, the, the, it's not me. It's not me. It's not me. You had to get bleeped last nah, episode. Nah, it wasn't me. <laughs> no, this is what, the thing. You're making it say? out. <laughs> <laughs> you're making it out as if I say some horrible things. It's not that. I don't. I just say things you, that push. You, you do not safe for work. <clears throat> yeah, you say things that aren't safe for work. Can maybe be too real um, and break the the terms of s service. <laughs> yeah. Just flagrantly political, like, just for no reason. That's not... No, 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 not true. Not true. 
<laughs> I'm not. I'm not, not. Just not. Yeah. I'm. I'm like the um the self insert character of Jar, where those beeps is that any anyone's opinion they can yeah, like self insert like a, it. A pick your own adventure. Sort yeah. Of thing. So those beeps mm. are like your little interactive. Yeah, Our videos radical, are interactive. Light, r really boring. Moderate. Why am I radical right? Because. That's not James. You need everyone has to be extremes. Yeah, I'm not. Yes. Well, <laughs> I I would argue James is more right wing. No, what? <laughs> he's actually so radically left wing that he's become radically right. -wing. No, that's not true. Not true at all. <laughs> yeah. Put those words in my mouth. We're all just on a circle, like going round through. I'm life. not. My my stance has not changed in years. Yeah, it has. Okay, it's gone. I've been become a bit more extreme. <laughs> but. <laughs> 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 but I'm in the same ballpark, okay? I'm just further away. Yeah. In fact, you've gone into the <laughs> the neighbouring ballpark. It's like a different right. sport now. It's not ball anymore. Yeah. Something else. Yeah. <laughs> like so the, the, the thing is, my my true my political opinions are not known to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> even yourself. I don't, I, I don't, I don't even know. know. I don't know if you have political opinions. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't I? What would you mean? I think I think what you want is violence, and it doesn't matter what, <laughs> like, what the institution that you're within is. You you as a person just seek violence, chaos, <laughs> chaos, yes, destruction, like it, absolutely the, jo the Joker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Plug him into any society and he just can't function. He needs to break it down and start a new one. Hey, 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 hey. Go on, do your joke a laugh. <laughs> I'm the joke. <laughs> that segment went a bit longer than I was expecting, but I'm rounding it off with this one from Window Enough. Hi, fellas. After hearing you describe the Welsh family, that had Max, I thought I'd chime in because I was born in Pembrokeshire, where I remember James saying that his family reside. I've lived here for 22 years and I reckon it's worth noting that Pems is actually infamously known as Little England, or Little England beyond Wales. This is because a vast majority that live here are either pretty much English or they just sound very, very English. We have no Welsh accents to speak of for the most part and only a tiny percentage speak Welsh. I'm well aware of the sort of people you describe with your family members, and Jamie was right when he said they probably don't like people outside of their immediate community. What I will say is that Pembrokeshire really isn't that deep into nationalism, and a lot of us only rinse the English on a superficial level. In fact, Pembrokeshire is rammed full of Tories, and our main industry is tourism, so you can imagine how intertwined the English are with our culture. We don't all hate the English, and the sort of racist farmers who live in towns with shitty broadband that you describe are very much in the minority. TLDR, come to Pembrokeshire and spend your English money in our towns. Don't buy a holiday home, though, because second homes have destroyed our housing market. I promise we are nice here. Cheers. You don't have to explain yourself. <coughs> um, yeah, you're Welsh. I thought that, that was, explains that, everything. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a good thing, that was a good thing to bring up, because mm. he, he was... The way I was talking about it maybe sounded too broad. When I was, yeah, I was yeah. talking about this one specific this, family, this family, specifically and in an extremely rural part. I, it's like technically in Pembrokeshire, but it's not like the town. It's not. No, it's not implemented. Like speaking of society, it, it is its own micro society. It really is like in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Yes, yeah, so um, like it, what you imagine, like a mini cult. Like there. Yeah, you could situation. run a cult from there pretty good. I mean, you're yeah. not going to have any interference. Like three cars will pass through there in a day, mm -hmm. maybe, and two of them are lost. You know. Yeah. But like, you don't have to justify dis like disliking the English on a just a superficial level. Like the hmm. the English dislike the English beyond a superficial level. Like, <laughs> like the the. I, I've, I, I have no problems with our neighbouring countries having certain opinions of England because no. everyone has the English I'm fine with that it was more where I was coming from was it seemed like one of the only reasons that they had to stand on was that difference and that it, it was like a weird yeah, I they're think they're English. They're from somewhere else, so they're from somewhere else. But also, they specifically hated our granddad. Yeah, who, who was British and would 
I don't he, know. Like, so he named Max after the, like a, a famous king or something who like killed a bunch of Welsh people. <laughs> like it. <laughs> yeah, our, our granddad is is pretty terrible for that sort of shit. Like, uh, yeah, I guess he's he's, <laughs> I don't know, I mean, he's like so miserable. He lived there for like two decades. Like more. <laughs> he was there like my whole life. Yeah, since like before was I was like, born. Yeah, it's just a very weird dynamic of weird. Um, yeah. Just hateful people. <laughs> yeah. But we were my, like two generations later just trying to figure out like what yeah, is yeah. going on. We, there's a cute dog that we want to look after. And yeah. th- that that dog is being used as like this chess piece, a pawn, uh-huh. a pawn on their, their grandmaster chess game. <laughs> of, You're picking them up. They're, they're two dogs really <laughs> on the sun chess. They're Welsh. Yeah, the, the check is... <laughs> <laughs> Are you one of them? Like... <laughs> James is an ultra-nationalist. I'm this not, is how I'm I, not. This is why I say James would be the right-wing one and I would be the left one. <laughs> no, not, not, not at all. But I'd be a classical liberal, you know? <laughs> <laughs> A.K.A. <laughs> fascist. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, well, we, we, the, we, the Wales is a lovely place. Mm. Really cute. It's beautiful. Pretty. Some of, yeah, some I've just the, spent some the, time in Wales and all the people I've met were f- horrible. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and this was like maybe 10 minutes into Wales. Mm. Go to London though, bro. You'll be... <laughs> but I don't look in you. If, if, if you want to meet nice people on like a, on this little island. North. Go, to go, go up. up. Yeah, go, up. go up. They're nice. Mm. They're nice. We're miserable. Yeah. You know? Cold. <laughs> well, no, we're, we're cold. warmer than them. Isolated. No, like as people, we are yeah, cold. Yeah. I'm not. You we are, are, bro. Compared to someone up north. Okay, some someone starts walking up to you asking for directions. Do you A, smile and start talking to them, or B, run? I would just be like, oh yeah, you, you, uh, go up north. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. it's just like, I'm not a dickhead, you know? And I'm like, I'll give them directions, but I also don't know directions. So like, I had one like, of those cold what? moments the other day where I was like, I really, I just was leaving... Tesco and someone like came up to me and was like hey dude do you have a, a Tesco club card because he wanted like the club Hello, card price guy. and I was yeah. like nah sorry man <laughs> just walked off Damn. no but then why would you I bet he saw you use the club card like, I was like, yeah there for five minutes trying to like scam my club card <laughs> <laughs> but in that case why would you because it's just like you're, you're, you're doing your own thing you're it's- You'll go. You're leaving because you want to go home and do your own thing, and then you're not going to wait for them to go buy their stuff and then give you. All the I had to back. do was just go ding, then then I could have left, and I probably would have got some points. I was yeah, surprised it you been didn't. A win-win. <laughs> yeah, why didn't yeah, you do it for the points? You and your points. I should have done it with the points. Yeah. I'm surprised you don't stand there like waiting for people to ask you that. Did you <laughs> remember your card by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just get in there, tap on their shoulder, and scan it when they look around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I suppose I should give a little Max update, seeing as he came up and he was mentioned last time. There's not much movement, uh, just a little bit of internet sleuthing going on where um, we thought it had stopped at the care place that he was at. Um, and obviously they can't give details of like where dogs have gone and whatnot. But just through a, a matter of luck and chance and a jarling out there, a jarling somehow found Max, basically. And he's employed. He's a worker now. The job. I'm not going to say the where. Dog. The dog. Um, because I, I, my plan is I've, I've put together this letter, this message, to send them with like the whole story. Um, his resume. Is yeah. I'm going to attach some pictures and some context. Because um, my whole thing was like, my moral question was, if this is like a, just a cute little family and they got kids or whatever, I don't know if I could really ask for anything from them. I'd be ha- I'd be happy in knowing that he was he wound up in a house like that. Um, and I know if I was like a little kid and I just adopted like a dog, it'd be like horrible for after a couple of months yeah, for it yeah. to be pulled away. And I wouldn't want to do that to a little kitty. Um, but seeing as it's, it's, it's like a <clears throat> an eatery, an establishment, uh, it's like a, like a business dog. <laughs> Yeah, he wears like a suit. <laughs> yeah, it was like a crazy, just a crazy. All of this is so crazy to me. Yes, yeah, and nice. then the fact that someone managed to just find this random post on Facebook, and it all, all all the dates lined up. 
there were like pictures and I was like comparing pictures of him. He's like holding a bone and I found a picture I'd taken of him of a similar angle, holding like one of his toys and I was like, yeah, that's him, man, that's him. So I'm going to send that message, I'm going to send an email and just see what they have to say, I guess, because that's where I've been stuck at is like trying to empathize and imagine like if I got a message. So I've written like a couple pages, I think, just to give the context. Mm. That's how silly the story's getting. Um, I was just trying to imagine, like, if I was sent that, what I'd feel, what I'd react. Cause, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wonder what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Because a- there is a point in there where I do say, like, I would love to have him back. Um, but I could see why you, you wouldn't want to part with him. Mm-hmm. Um, and that, uh, yeah, I'm at least happy that he's not with this horrible family anymore because putting together from the pictures I saw <clears throat> he'd been he, lo- he looks weird he looks a bit off because he's clearly been like shaved which you don't really do to golden retrievers it, um, all his feathers didn't look right he just looked a bit wrong so clearly yeah, when he was probably, given to the home he was probably in bad nick and they yeah, just shaved him after. reset him so yeah um, we'll see where that goes with any luck, we're here back at least, not get blanked, but yeah, shout out to the Jarling who found him because we wouldn't have had that chance otherwise, probably. Um, one other minor thing I wanted to say, my new thing at the moment, if you hadn't noticed. Milk? It's, well, because cause of the, the cured meat thing is going into the distance, I need a new hyperfixation. And it's, te- this is a weird one, this is a vocal one. I'm really starting to say my T's in like a really obnoxious I hadn't noticed way. this whatsoever. You know, it's like really annoying. It sounds like pedantic. What's a good example? Right. Let's do this then. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> There's no flow to... No, you either. just you sound... What do I sound like? <laughs> this is but you just made this up now <laughs> you, you haven't been, like i, I would have picked that up immediately and been like no it's not what's wrong it's not sorry it's not it it is not so yeah. keep that in mind just um, want to throw that no, i'm not going to because then you'll forget about it and stop doing it. oh i won't forget about it i've been doing this for a while um mm. i i need to do that with I, I i've been bringing this up like every episode but my c's my cuz cuh cuh potum pre <laughs> james say clever clever where do you feel the c in your mouth clever cuh clever 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 right clever. Because when I talk, sometimes my C's go to, like, the the back teeth. Clever. 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 No, not, not like my throat. <laughs> no, like, like my teeth here, and then then if, if I've got, like, a bit of a wet mouth. Mm. Classic wet mouth. Always got wet mouth, bro. Then, the then I, I start going... <laughs> you know? And then, <laughs> And yeah, I just think it's really like gross and disgusting, and I'm a little monster. <laughs> you are. <laughs> Ooh. Um. But yeah, yeah. Well, I'm proud of you, dude. I'm proud of you for pronouncing, announcing, creouncing, creatine. Your T's. Mhm. Thank you. I like it. You should pronounce things properly, though. I'm trying. Well, I think you. What you should actually, actually do. Yes. Is learn how to speak the true, I guess it's King's English now. Oh, yeah, you're right. King's English. Queenie English. Because it's, it's, I think um, our grandmother would be a good person to start with. Because, <laughs> mm. like, when she says year, she'll go year. One year. One year. <laughs> I will have an announcement. <laughs> yeah. Hey everybody, I've got an announcement to make. <laughs> You're really selling me on this. 
Yeah. Don't do I think it. it would be cool, and then you could go up and do a speech somewhere. No. no well, speaking on. of going up and doing speeches, um, we, we have to talk about this. Why? This was the big thing. Um, because I know this has been an ongoing thing for literal years. Oh, God. But, but FNAF has reached, r slash FNAF has reached a crescendo. It's, it's, it's become... Like the start of the crescendo or the end of it? And Towards the end, I would say. Towards Where the like end there's of like, it, Oh yeah. man, there's like real... There's real Combat. movement. <laughs> I keep saying things are movement, but this is... This is like... Inertia. There isn't... The, the inertia has carried it to this crescendo. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Um, so it needs a little bit of context here, but uh, starting off, Cock Hampton said, Not a question, but Alex's giggle on Sardonicast when Adam asked, Oh, you're on FNAF? Made me a proud Jar fan. Because we're talking about the Five Nights at Freddy's, and I just, I just on the down low, referenced the FNAF subreddit, and he just thought it was like, I just go on the Five Nights at Freddy's oh, like, right. subreddit. He didn't realize you were a moderator. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new thing. That's like the last week that I've become mod, but I don't abuse the powers. I've done no modding. I'm just a I'm a fly on the wall. A mod on the wall. <laughs> a mod on the wall. <laughs> so basically, FNAF wound up in another big subreddit the other day. Just uns um, unsubscribed. Yeah. R slash just unsubbed. Who? Um, oh. Yeah. Where it's like a place where people go to complain about how crazy other subreddits are. Right. And people are complaining about um, So they've taken a screenshot of one of the rules on our slash FNAF, which is rule two. Do not acknowledge Scott as the creator of FNAF. James created FNAF and Scott stole the code. The general disrespect I've seen for James on here is disgusting. He created FNAF. Scott stole and owns the IP. Get over it. So that's what's been screenshot and shared on this 1.7 thousand upvoted post with 648 comments. Um, and the, the, the tag was, uh, from FNAF, like I thought this was a joke, but no, posts are actually getting removed. <laughs> <laughs> and it, what really sells it is like, that's funny on its own and that's humor spreading and it's like clearly building over here. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, but what we are witnessing is a, a birth of a conspiracy theory. A genuine conspiracy like, theory. Like genuine conspiracy theory. Cause it gets political. Yes, yeah, it's, it's oh yeah, it's overtly yeah. political now, and th this is crazy. I'm gonna go through some of the comments that are underneath this post. The top comment was just this guy who says, "Who the fuck is James?" <laughs> Eight hundred upvotes. <laughs> and someone replied to it saying, "I looked. Apparently, there's an unused file in the code of FNAF called Pissadick, who was meant to be Balloon Boy. Apparently, that means that this James guy is the real creator of FNAF, but I don't know." 484 of it. <laughs> then this guy said, I'm pretty sure James created FNAF is a thing that started as a shitpost that some loony MFs latched onto so they could justify their hatred for Scott. <laughs> Which they are spot on for, because then this person was saying, They don't like the creator's politics, so they're pretending a fictional character created the game. Like how Hatsune Miku created Minecraft and wrote all the Harry Potter books. Someone replied to that saying, yep, just when I thought Reddit couldn't get more schizophrenic. Another one re replied saying, it's worse, because it's not like they were born this way or had some kind of trauma. These are grown-ass adults, mostly men in their 30s and teenagers, who have gone off completely, on th gone off the rails completely, actually opting into being straight-up delusional. It's kind of like a consented to schizophrenia. <laughs> So they love the IP, hate the creator, and make up a fictional individual to justify still liking the works of people they hate? That may be one of the most pathetic things I've heard. That's social media activism now. They refuse to actually boycott the things they like. Gasp, I might have to make sacrifices to stay true to my values? So instead, they happily consume the media, giving money to the person they hate, while collectively convincing themselves they're not doing exactly that. They couldn't have oh, it dude. more wrong. <laughs> yeah. it's another, just, it's, no, it would be funny, that, like, if this got worse and there's actually a huge split between the <laughs> the libertarian and the uh, <laughs> li Democrat, like, split because people want to believe Scott made it and people want to believe I made it. <laughs> and there's this whole political, like, fight like, over it. It's so funny that this is where it's gone. <laughs> it's yeah, fucking funny. It's, it's they're like, doing the thing. They're talking about 
They're, they're making up like a straw straw man. <laughs> they're projecting their shit onto it, onto this yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they're saying, oh, these people just make up their own narrative and, and yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, which is exactly what they're doing. Yeah, listen to this one. Uh, who the fuck is James? It's the start of the thread. Replied saying, basically a fake person since Scott's a Republican and supports people with anti-LGBTQ views. They made a fake person and say they created FNAF. To be fair to them, Scott made up a fake person who canonically in-universe made the FNAF games. I'm not sure if that makes it more or less weird, but it's true. Well, that sounds <laughs> extremely childish. I do like that this, the way this has turned out has aligned with me politically. I am like the left wing, I am extremely left wing that Scott You're is against Scott. Scott. Yeah, that, that, coincidentally, that's how it... It's fallen. But that to me was like, when I saw this unfolding, <clears throat> I was like, oh my god. It's actually that's insane. All you, that is all you have to do. Yeah, all you have to do is say... No, it's something else. <laughs> no, it doesn't People matter. Like, it doesn't matter what size of a platform you have. You, if you convince, if you're like in the street screaming it, and three people like repeat the dumb shit you say. Yeah. If it's just repeated enough, people just start believing anything. Yeah. Like, like, and we're at the heart of this, so there's no question mark. It's like we've watched this disgusting monster we've had in this booth, like growing. And now yeah, it's like it's like breaking out. <laughs> we, no, but we, this is past the point though. We're ever gonna control it? It's literally. Oh, there's no controlling. This 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 um anti Scott uh, being that has my name. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is it that, you? It's, it's gonna just continue to go to the point it's gonna be on our Five Nights at Freddy's, <laughs> and it's just, there's gonna be a huge split, and whole... it's gonna come back to me because they'll, they'll they'll make links and they'll be like, why is this person called James House on Twitter? The uh, the whole pessimistic balloon boy thing, I like. That's a nice yeah, touch. that's a real nice touch. <laughs> <laughs> they make this shit so believable, man. I love it. <laughs> and then, like, I just love that people are, ah, oh, people outside of the bubbles are like be, being introduced to this stuff, and they're just like so confused and like, yeah. baffled, and they're like, "This must be a media anger. <laughs> yeah. This must be a politically charged nightmare." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Politics is anything. To do. <laughs> yeah. Like how did that? Be, how did that get in there? It could have been less political. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's the least political joke <laughs> of all time. And then, of course, people on Reddit are like, "Oh, they just hate the right wing." <laughs> <laughs> Shut the f up, you losers! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, this is this. <coughs> I mean, oh, I'm we, so we, proud of the journalists for this. Yeah, yeah and we yeah. we've done nothing. We, we did nothing. Didn't. We didn't create the subreddits. We did no. nothing. But this all, was organic. All, all we did was say, you can leave us questions on r slash FNAF. <laughs> that's all we that, did. That was it. That, and then <laughs> that was James who did that. It was actually yeah. me. Oh, yeah. that's, it was like a snowball, the head of a, a, a the size of a needle. That's what inertia is, man. You know? You start that rolling. tiny rock at the top of the hill as it's rolling. What, what, set another rock's going off and they're yeah. getting bigger and they're getting what, bigger. What if, what if this, this goes, <laughs> this anti-Scott uh, idea goes so big that Matt Pat makes a video saying the real creator of FNAF. <laughs> That's oh the God. dream. <laughs> and then it's just, oh, oh. shit. And then oh it's God. deep dive into Jar and me. Oh, that'd be insane. That'd be beautiful. I, we'd, we'd have to end the channel. That would be the ultimate peak of Jar humor. That's like just walking to the sunset. Like, we've done it, guys. Yeah, we made it. There's nothing else to even say or do. Yeah. It's finished. And it's all because we followed Matt Pat's guide on how to get views on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, there was one more from this thread I wanted to read from Butterbean123 who quite eloquently summed up like the actual story here. <clears throat> hey, so since this is getting all out of hand and people are bringing weird political conspiracy theories into the mix, I feel like I might as well chime in because I know the, host the whole story. James House is one of the hosts of Jar Media, a comedy podcast about whatever the host wants to talk about as well as having a segment where they take questions from the audience. In one episode, James jokingly said that they should post their questions on r slash FNAF, and a lot of people actually did it to the confusion of the community over there. <coughs> However, the stars aligned for this to become more than a one-time joke, as coincidentally, one of the moderators of r slash FNAF is an avid jar listener. He asked the rest of the moderator team for permission to change some of the sub to go along with the joke more, like changing the sub banner and logo. And they responded by basically giving them free reign over the sub, as most other FNAF fans had already migrated to 
towards the more all-encompassing r slash five nights at freddy's <laughs> ever since then it's basically been <laughs> half FNAF content half jar shit posting <laughs> and this has been one of the bigger running gags that james was the tr- true creator of fnaf it's been mentioned a couple of times on the podcast and the hosts enjoyed the joke well enough so i guess it factored into the continuation of the joke this was never about politics it was just a goofy troll do keep in mind, though, that on, on our slash FNAF, James is the true creator of FNAF, and we will not tolerate any slander <laughs> against the legend that he is. <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I have to make, like, a, a five... I actually have to make a Five Nights at Freddy's rival that gets bigger than it. That's it. That's my destiny. I feel like if we... We could make, like, a... You know, like a fake, not like apology video, but like kind of shot and frame like one. Mm. And be like, do you call it like addressing the situation? <laughs> <laughs> and have James like seriously like... <laughs> yeah, we'll write a script and everything. Do it. I can pull it off. I'll wear a suit yeah. and everything. That would be fire. That would be awesome. Just really sow the seeds of just confusion. You know? That's what you were talking about earlier. You know, just get the... Spread those seeds, you know? <laughs> yeah, start spreading your seed. Yeah. Spread your seed in the name of James Creative FNAF. <laughs> Sprinkle it. Uh, uh, we'll see you after these messages. Uh, yeah. Dick the Head shirts available now. Check in the description. Yeah. You got it now, and then a drink your. Known. I'm mm, I'm permanently dehydrated. Don't you dare drink my water. <laughs> that's rich, man. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. You always drink gyms. No, no, you, you got water. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Good sharing. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, hi, baby. Hi, booger. Hey, babe. Hello, booger gold. <laughs> booger babe. Look at her. She's booger babe. <laughs> hey, babe. Booger golden. Yeah. Hey. Do you want some James water too? Oh, splash. Splish, splash, I was taking a bath. <laughs> <laughs> I, hate, I hate the word splash. Why? I think it, it would be a good dog name. No, okay, no, no, question. What, what, what how do you feel? How do you feel? Yeah. The word sloppy. I love the word sloppy. Sloppy loppy. I I love the word sloppy, but I, I know you I've love got, the word sloppy. There's a weird current thing I know, which is men seem to love sloppy. Yeah. Women don't. Women don't like the word sloppy. Yeah. I had this discussion about the word sloppy the other day with a woman. <laughs> what did she say? She didn't like it. Yeah. Why don't they like it? Sloppy's great. It's like sloppy, like. <laughs> It's because like I was cheese. no no. When I think of sloppy, it's like I think of like a a, a donut. A, a donut. I think kebab. of Billy's jelly. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's sloppy. But then in- and the thing that when you get it out and you can go <laughs> with it. Yeah, mac and cheese. Yeah, I'd say yeah, mac and cheese. cheese. But at the same time, the thing that comes into mind is like wrestling someone in mud. That's sloppy, yeah, right? Yeah. That, that comes that's to a, mind. That's sloppy. a clear <laughs> kind of noise. Yeah, you know. Yeah. It's like, would you not want to, like, be on a trampoline and eat someone into slop? Trampolines could be could get sloppy. <laughs> they definitely rains. could. No, they get slippy. Yeah. But no, remember when you jump and then the raindrops would, like, stay? Yeah. Then go, That's, yeah, they were a bit sloppy. And if mm. a leaf or two was in there, that would be sloppy. It's slimy. Like, it's like ice when it gets slimy and slightly f- uh, melty, no, but it gets sloppy. Slippery. No, James is no, right. If it's yeah, melted and gone grey. No, that's, yeah, that's more slop. slushy. That's, no, that's slop. slop. Yeah, no, okay, yeah, the the slop slush. <laughs> <laughs> slop yeah. slush is a good name. Hooray. <laughs> I like when it organically Ooh. comes out. Um, well, this is the part of the show where we do questions from the Jar Media subreddit. Head over there to the suggestion thread and ask us questions. Just oh, like r slash Jar Media did. <laughs> Seeing as James has gotten into building slash painting Warhammer models, I was wondering yeah. if he has got round to building the famed Cringemus tank. What? I thought we told this law. Well, clearly, like, you got to address this again or something, because what happened to it? I sold it on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wraps that one I, up. I sold it on eBay. 
I, I sold it on eBay. You you a good lied. price? Did you get a good price? Yeah. You Got a really good you. price. <laughs> <laughs> this was years ago. So <laughs> um, I'll have you know, though, I do have the Spitfire. I do have the Spitfire. Well, sell it. No, I'm building it. You. Why? <laughs> you gave me that one, so I value it, value it more. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Leg27 says, How come we have yet to see a cast with Alex and his twin Randy together? Is the beef between them really that intense? It would be nice to see the two make up and have a pleasant conversation on the cast one day. Um, we might do an episode together, but I can't promise that it will be, uh, pleasant. Uh... Can I ask why- why Jamie isn't similar to Randy? What? He's not my twin. What do you mean, what- not similar? <laughs> what? <laughs> why are you not similar no, to No, go Randy? on, speak! <laughs> Just saying, it's a bit weird. What- what? The fact that you and Randy are quite different. But some- lots of siblings are different. No. There's something different there. Jim's got a different rapport with Randy. <laughs> you know? I don't understand. Am I different to Alex? No. So, so <laughs> Alex one. would also then be quite different to Randy. No, but Randy's different. No, but you said I'm different. How? <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't compute. I'm just saying that maybe maybe there's two brothers. Maybe one of them. Maybe one of the three is adopted. Yeah, but how could a twin be adopted? One of the twins. If Alex and I are similar, but Randy's different, but then you're saying, why am I dissimilar? The, 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 jo the, the joke was that I'm saying that if you're the adopted one out of the three. Yeah, but, but, the. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if Jim was like Indian or something. <laughs> I am, um, somewhat Pakistani. Pakistani. Pakistan. Not Pakistani. Pakistan. <laughs> Gems. No. Please don't <laughs> preach me on my own culture. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Hader Gaming says this, hypothetical. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella personally reaches out to the Jar men. He wants to make Jar exclusive to Xbox Game Pass, a la the Joe Rogan experience in Spotify. Huh? This isn't some sort of new initiative from Xbox. Jar would remain the only non-game on Game Pass. What is the minimum price at which you'd consider the offer? 80 mil. Tw 20 grand. Really? That's yearly. 20 grand oh, yearly. Right. It, um, means, it means I, can, I don't have to work anymore. But bro, Microsoft. This is Microsoft. That's lowballing it so hard. Yeah. 80 mil. Remember how much they paid, like... Ninja and then just dissolved all that that whole side of the, yeah. What was it called again? Mixer. Mixer. They can that's, just like be like tens, money if not hundreds of millions, just like written off. Like yeah, we we just, tried. Just, yeah, it was Who a cares? little gamble. <laughs> yeah. <we're laughs> just, oh well. Um. To mi them minimum, so it'd be a yearly cop fee. It wouldn't be a bulk oh. fee for all of time. Yearly fee, two million. <laughs> that's more like it. <laughs> Yeah, that is a bit Yearly funny. fee, two million. I don't have to work anymore. That's not matters. If it was, what about like a million pounds each? E any day of the week. Absolutely. What, full stop. And we and just it ended keep... there. And but we keep we just keep doing this. This exact same thing, but it's just an Xbox Game Pass exclusive. <laughs> 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 no, I don't. Um, I do it one one million a year. Yeah, but do we keep the Patreon? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> then yeah. But yeah. I, I, we'd have no, to, one we'd, mil isn't enough. Yeah, that, that's I what I'm saying. Blow, yearly. I would blow a million in six months. I would blow a million within a few days. I can <laughs> blow that. You would not I believe us. I would want you to like win a million so you can like prove this. Yeah. Because you're so confident in that fact. Whereas I think you're underestimating a million is a million is. is literally four R thirty four GTRs. But that's literally. Really Nothing. But how stupid would you have to be to go and buy four of those? Like, anyone could do that. But, like, why would you do that? No, I'd be smart, okay? Because <laughs> money is simply 200k in, in investments on the stock market or for hedge fund manager or whatever. Mm. 100k in a savings account that's locked off permanently. 100k in another one. House down deposit. A car for an investment. Mm. So you buy the best one you can. Buy a 10 years time, 
200k. Then spend the rest on cars. Blow the rest of no... Because con- I'm still <laughs> I'm still living. I'm still working. So I still got my bills covered. You would still work? Yeah. Yeah. Because if I didn't work, I would be doing it. I'd be overdosing on co- cocaine within a week. Mm. Like I, I need stimulation. This is the thing. If you ever get rich, never stop working. Because you're, mm. you're keeping your brain working. And yeah, then you actually I, enjoy your money. I think if if I won a lot of money, I would die. <laughs> yeah, I would. I think like at that point, it's like, well, okay, I've I've won. Uh huh. So now it's time to test, test the human limit. You know. Yeah. Because there's no s- point getting rich and then living your life hoping your next generation has money. Fuck them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the boomer attitude. I like it. Yeah, I want no, to no, experience. No, no, no. This isn't the boomer attitude because the boomer attitude. They knew they were going to be fine when they die, right? But their next generation is fucked. Like, what's the point of bringing a kid into the world now when they're going to have to do global warming, the economy's fucked? It's Beaver's not the boomer man. attitude. I can't afford to get kids. Even if I could it afford it. It is the boomer attitude, them. man. But the, the beavers will save us, so we're fine. I wouldn't even think about that, you know? we got yeah. beavers now. We're going to have, like, our economy based on vanilla extract. Mm-hmm. No, essence. Beav- yeah, vanilla essence. Someone said Gimp is going to add beavers. beavers into his weird... Uh, yeah. Exhibitionism. Yeah. No, his ass will be the beaver ass with the <laughs> vanilla. Yeah, he'll Give attract me extra. With him. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunate. Mm. Yeah, if I had a lot of money and I wasn't working, I would die so quickly. Yeah. Interesting. But, also, but I mean, if you won like the Euro millions, which is like 500 million. True fuck you money, like you never ever are going to even yeah. have to think about any number ever. Well, no, because yeah, some people think... somehow manage to fucking burn through it. Hundreds of millions. It's like it's hundreds ob- of millions. Is easy. It would each. I I turn into Mr. Beast. I just. It's be obscene like, though, because like even if you put m- most of it into a savings account, the interest you'd be getting monthly, you could live on that. You could live an exorbitant life on the interest alone. Let alone what other what you're doing with the mm-hmm. other parts of the money or whatever. Like it's it's just obscene. You and me all into Ethereum. <laughs> Boogie it. <laughs> Booger it. <laughs> well, if you earn that type of money, the only thing you can do is fitch everyone. Give money to constantly people. May need some money? Money. Houses, cars. No, but that's fake. No, but then what am I going to do with the money? I think it would be Drugs. cool to, like, if you have got that level of wealth, you could be like, just pick, like, a random town and just gentrify it. Just you. Just completely mm. invest mm. it all into this place and, like, make it, like, a cool hub. Like, um, is it Stroud that did that? There's just this billionaire, electric, like eco energy guy just set up there, and he's like created like hundreds of jobs, boosted the economy of the local area, made it more appealing for people. Okay, now now this is a question: Where we live, right? You are that this person, and you can fix our town. What would you do? Um, and start again. Yeah, you'd have to fix. You'd have to do infrastructure stuff. You'd have to. I'm curious what James has to say to this one. From I'm not saying his name because it's just a bunch of random numbers. Does James really think porn is harmful? He treats it like a dangerous, slippery slope. Oh my god! This I think that's quite poor reasoning. I don't understand how consuming sexual material digitally is different than watching it in person. Anything anyone enjoys can be addictive, but treating porn like it's the sole cause of young men's strife and incredibly dangerous feels dishonest. He could talk about it in terms of his personal struggle with it, but it's short-sighted and a bit off-putting to aggrandize the harms of porn because of a personal struggle. Men need far more concrete ways to improve their perspective and thought patterns, not pause is the, porn is the cause of your failing, and you'll be better if you don't. Okay, so this is propaganda, huh. basically. What, th- this is a common argument for ba- people who are basically trying to anti-anti-porn. It is scientifically proven... The consumption of porn fucks the brain receptors in your head for pleasure. You're shortening the natural uh, brain pathways to receive dopamine. And by getting, not putting any work in, real work when it comes to dopamine related to sex is actual sex. It's the pursuit of a partner. And it's that, that. So when you when you have sex through that, it's a natural pathway in your brain that is being activated for your dopamine. Mm. Clicking play on a porn video and getting that dopamine re- release is not a natural pathway, basically. You're shortening that, and you're f***ing your dopamine receptors in the process. That's where the biggest difference seems to be, is like, there are multiple layers to this. Yes. Where like, 
looking at a porn mag in the 80s that had been stashed in the woods. There's certain limitations on that. There's a certain limitation of mm. pages, think- <clears throat> what's in the contents of it. And like, it's, it's not like algorithms funneling you down. Yeah. Yeah. Certain. And yeah, it's more extreme. And the thing is, when, when you've got porn mag, you've got four, 30 pages of porn. Right. On Pornhub, and you can see the memes everywhere, you've got f- millions you of pages. You can look through 30 pages like a minute. Yeah. And that's why you see these memes where people are like, oh, I'm just not getting it today, and it's like page 500. Mm-hmm. That's that's porn addiction. And the, the idea that there is like watching, like, I don't know why they're saying watching sex. Yeah, Physically, that, that, that's a bit that like... Rung, rung a bit of an alarm. Which part though. was that, sorry? Early on in the question, I don't see how watching porn is different. Oh, yeah, consuming sexual material digitally is different than watching it in person. Yeah. Um, it, there's probably it, quite a big difference, I would imagine. But also, what, who watches sex in person? Like, a, like a um, boy, uh, but yeah, yeah. The shows but, I mean, they're different though. They're not. That's that's not. a whole other kettle of fish, and that's that's more of like a kink, or well, it's cuckoldry. Well, yeah, yeah, and and porn kind of is virtual cuckoldry. No, no, it it is. Yeah, but the it's not a hum, as much a personal struggle thing. It's like. Pornography is is insanely addictive. It is bad for you. There's no way around it. And there's loads of people, especially some Twitch streamers who are really big, who are assholes, who've had this idea that consuming porn's a good thing and that you should because you're horny. It's a natural thing to be horny, to have attraction. Now, our brains aren't built for the way we consume porn. I think about it even broader where it's like, yeah, one element is porn, but I think just broader media in general mm. and the impact slash effect is not understood or has been studied in much detail with how new all this emerging tech is. Like how much will, the engagement of media over the last 100 years, <clears throat> unprecedented. Mm-hmm. Mm. No one no one in the 20s thought that you'd be able to whip out a supercomputer and look at any image or answer any question you could conjure. So this goes down to like imagery in kids movies, imagery in films, just anything, any idea conveyed through media, through propaganda, through video and audio. The power of that is Mm. misunderstood and needs, I don't know, needs to be analyzed properly. Mm. Scientists got to break this down. Here's my theory. In, In school, Right. Mm. What was the genre everyone talked about? Milfs. Milfs. Right. Yeah. What movie did everyone Pixar movie? Did everyone grow up watching? Incredibles. Incredibles. I swear these animated these animated not. movies like they create so many like weird yeah. fetishes. Yeah, and... because they're all made by fetishists. <laughs> <Because> they're made <laughs> by horny <laughs> men. And yeah, it's the same. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the same way. So Fortnite skins are now eighteen rated. That's right, I forgot about that, Shane. Why would they be 18 rated, these skins, if they weren't sexual in nature? They just, like, you, like growing up watching, like, El Dorado, and that woman yeah, character. God damn! <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 oh my bro, god. I'm serious. It's, it's, like, it's like not even fair for a certain point, you know? You're like a little kid, and it's like, what, yeah. what am I, how am I supposed to pass how, this? How, how am I supposed to get El Dorado? <laughs> yeah, Tell me how do right I get now. There now? <laughs> <laughs> I need to be there yesterday. Look, I'll show you. You've probably seen him, Je- her, James. Uh, this this character, uh, Chell. Oh, oh my yeah. god! Oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> Everyone knows this. <laughs> yeah, <there's... laughs> Look at the way they animate this shit, man. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> and but... that's what little kids just like, <laughs> just watching Whoa. this shit. But it, that, there's, it's not just uh, this this thing. Like, there is enough scientific data for you to be able to look at completely by yourself and say, I can look at that and see this actual scientific data and say, that proves the porn's bad for me, I should stop watching it. Doesn't matter how many people you listen to say that you should uh, acknowledge how you're consuming porn. Look about what it, it leads. Like, I think, top of my head, on all, like, 40% of divorces are blamed on porn, porn, porn use. Mm. There's a f***ing statistic. There, there, there is a reason why. Paul, it's not just a... 
There's just yeah. There's uh, <clears throat> putting the where to put the blame. I guess is, is where I focus. Because it's like we just introduced this crazy powerful technology, or you could almost call it a sub. The power pornography has over people is almost like a substance. Well, with we, the we literally joked about yeah. gooning on this for years. And yeah, look, yeah. At, look at porn-induced brain damage. <laughs> Porn-induced like, brain damage. Like, if the brain, if the porn wasn't f***ing your brain, why are these gooners so f***ing addicted to it that they're yeah, ruining their lives in the process? We've, we've gooned, like, a lot of things, basically. We've, mm. we've re it's like a level of self-awareness that's, like, too far, you know? We've, we've recognised we're these monkey things, and we've realised we have certain reward processes in our brain, and we've realised companies have realised how to yeah. get the most engagement out of those reward processes in our brain, whether that be porn, whether that be video games, or whatever. Um, and there is something crazy and new and scary about that that needs to probably be talked what, about. What else did this person mention in the comment to, to, to address? I read, read the comment again. Um, the slippery slope, poor reasoning. Uh, anyone, Anything anyone enjoys can be addictive. That doesn't seem entirely fair. Because uh, each one of these things is different, and there, I feel like that that <coughs> comparing it to the magazine in the woods, mm. that is quite different. There's something a bit more innocent and restricted and uh, controlled. <laughs> but, <laughs> like, yeah. also, the potential for danger or whatever is just so much <coughs> lower. Yeah, yeah. But we we've we've also not talked about the the abuse within the industry that is porn. So, yeah. like, by watching it, you're actually supporting a terrible, terrible, terrible industry, industry. And then you have companies like OnlyFans that's won by a man who's profiting extremely off of what is a pyramid scheme. That is mm. exploiting women. Yeah. Well, like, even in... Do you remember, like, the 90s? I don't know how long this guy had been doing it, but I remember it in, like, all these American comedies. They'd always be talking about girls gone wild. Remember yeah. these? Like, these... I think it was, must have been VHSs, DVDs, early right, 2000s. Right. It was, like, this guy would go to, like, spring break and just go around filming drunk girls lifting their tops up basically or whatever and it was like a huge thing and he was made a millionaire over selling all these and then like recently it comes out all this like creepy stuff about him and all these lawsuits and it's like uh, <clears throat> they, I know there they mentioned a slippery slope and this is a constant argument these people have against you know, anti-porn stances there is Nobody who consumes a reg porn on regular places who's keeping, who's continuing to watch the same type of porn they they watched when they started. Mm. Your brain is not going to get pleasure if you're watching that same kind of vanilla porn you did when you were 13. The slippery slope is nothing more than you moving on to different categories, different genres, different extremes... Because you're dulled to the dopamine of the original category. Well, similar the, to the slippery like, slope is real. It's like, with anything. Someone who, like, has been drinking for ten years probably needs to have a few more pints than the person who's been sober. And they have mm -hmm. one pint. You know what I'm saying? It's like if you if you're on page fifteen or twenty, that's I, that is the slippery slope. You're it's, getting it's, more. It's the worse. social media slippery slope as well, and it, it it ties into like why I try to limit myself. But I mean, you've seen me on YouTube Shorts. The reason this shit is so addictive is because of novelty. Mm -hmm. Like, the human mind is obsessed with new, uh -huh. different. Yeah. Know? I think that's why, like, multiplayer games are really addictive, because... It's never the same. It's never the same. It's different every time. Mm. You know, um, <clears throat> that works the same in porn, where, like, the new thing is gonna, like, light our brains up way more than a video we've already seen, or, like, yeah, a, exactly. a video similar to something we've already seen. So there's this, like, growth of genre... Like you're yeah. constantly. But it's gone to such to a like degraded expand. level where like there are whole communities built around people who are addicted to porn and they're like self aware of it and they don't care. Yeah. And yeah. That's kinda crazy. It's, it's, <laughs> it's like nihilistic. Yeah, it's def it's pure hedonism. Um yeah. like I've I've said before that in as an example of the slippery slope is going from vanilla to like hardcore bondage mm. or like pain. Like that is a clear slippery slope, but you don't. Not everyone's going to get to that level of watching that type of themed mm. porn. But that doesn't mean the slippery slope doesn't exist. Just because you're not watching mm. torture, <clears throat> doesn't mean you you've not moved from the yeah. starting place. 
because of to get that new hit. Yeah, but also it's it's a a quantity thing as well. Yeah, like if you're consume if you if you it, the more you consume it, the faster you're going down the slope. Yeah, if you if you watch one video when you're 13 and now you're 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 spending half hour trying to find a video, that is a slippery slope. And just the amount of time you're spending doing it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like uh, a lot of people love talking about this anti-pornography, like anti-anti-pornography, and it just seems to be—I don't want to be mean—but it seems like you're trying to get out of feeling bad about your own porn use. Because there's, like, there's also I become get that vibe there's, yeah. there's a weird political thing with this as well now, where a lot of right-wing people are saying the same thing. Um, I've so, seen that a, a lot of the Andrew Tate group—they are very anti-porn. Yeah, right. Which yeah. I. As much as he's a dickhead, his stance on porn use is like, he's got a because, point. Yeah, it's point, a pointlessly fair. politicized thing because I don't know why it became like a default left-wing position to be, what do they call it? Um, like pro-sex work. Pro-sex um, and framing it as like it's... Liberating. Liberating, yeah. Whereas like, I don't know, it's more a little bit more complicated than that to me, in my mind. Um, yeah, especially in, in these senses yeah because yeah. i want i want people to like figure out their sexuality and be able to explore that explore um, it and express it but it's like it's it's hard to do that when the the means you have to explore it are like provided by these big corrupt companies that they don't, they don't really care about the morality of anything it's just like what gets the most engagement or the most bell delphine subscriptions they can sell mm -hmm. like twitter now it's it's such an engagement bait piece of shit platform. Like people like you know, it's like one of the biggest Twitter users is this. I don't know who the hell they are. They've got like a Danny Phantom picture. Oh, um, that I know the one. Kira, yep. whatever. Um, they will tweet something, and it's like a business model now where an OnlyFans creator will reply to one of her viral tweets. His or his, I don't know who it is. Uh, and then they will reply to the OnlyFans thing with like a meme or a joke or just a reply. Mm -hmm. And it turns out they're being paid to reply to it to signal boost the OnlyFans creator. And it's all this like behind the scenes. And it's not just them doing it, that's just an example. It's all over Twitter, the engagement bait. Like, what's that? like mirage marketing, it's really weird. Um, yeah, that's what it is. Wow. Like, y y Instagram's terrible with it. it that no matter where you go, they're trying to push porn because it is highly addictive, but it's also an insane industry. It just mm. makes a lot of money. Well, it sells things. Sexual things sells things. Yeah. Uh, you can't really get past that. Mm. Yeah, the world, the world is cyberpunk. Like, every yeah. other advert you see in, in Night City is, like, some porn shit. And yeah. It, like, it, every other advert I get on YouTube shorts is, like, some like porn game or like some yeah. overly sexualized like yeah ads. i don't think it is sex negative to criticize no. <clears throat> companies and abusive well, yeah. algorithms and yeah yeah and they're, they're abusing our like monkey brain nature you know and i there's nothing liberating about that you know it's Just, almost the opposite it's like yeah, turning but, us into these weird gooned slaves because yeah. they would know so well the mm -hmm. reward cycles that can be hijacked and mm -hmm. people when they're like agree when people are using technology and these devices and just pressing agree to these big you know 30 page documents of like with this you're uh, giving us permission to show you this and do this and track this and sell this it's almost like there's like an ignorance to it, you know? But everyone's just bought in and like not really thought about the consequences. Yeah. We've like opened the Pandora's box in that sense. And it's like, well, I can't close it now. Mm -hmm. Everyone's gooned already. What are you supposed to do yeah. now? Yeah. It's because it's not even just, this is what I mean about it not being just porn. Cause it's like yeah. family members like on Facebook, just looking at like nothing mm -hmm. or any of it. TikTok. That's what or, I mean. That's what I'm saying with novelty. It's just, we're, we're, given this stream of just like new different new different new different like new thing you've never seen new thing you've never seen and we can't stop yeah our brains are hooked on it mm. but i would say it's like 
you don't have to listen to anything I say. You don't have to say about my. You don't have to listen to my experiences with it. Look at what it does to you. Search and see what the actual statistics are for porn use and porn addiction. And if you still want to stand on the hill that it's not that bad for people, that's that's on you. So you know, yeah, if you want to, like, in fifty years when it has been studied more, what's that going to look like? What are what are the conclusions going to be? I yeah, don't, I don't know if it is going to be like all like, oh yeah, it's, it's nothing. It's had no effect on anyone. <laughs> it's like, it if it just feels like people are just trying to you know not feel bad about their own use. So they don't does, feel guilty. How does this line up then? Because it's kind of the opposite of the argument of violent video games, violent imagery is not an issue. Right? That's a that's a long standing thing. Mm. That's like a position I think I've held. Where like I don't think I, you're gonna create killers from playing GTA. Yeah, or, I don't think playing Call of Duty right? Or any first-person violent video game and killing this online avatar. I don't think that has the same mental stimulation that pornography creates. Obviously, it creates dopamine because it's an enjoyable thing that's been micromanaged to give to maximize your dopamine. But it's it's not a natural thing. We've grew, grew up, not grew up, but we've evolved for millions of years to have a sex drive and a sex reward. Yeah, I guess the We're games. Not, the, the the imagery of the games is not the inherently stimulating part. It's yes. the way they're designed and the reward loops of yes. the way the games are designed. Yep. It's but not seeing the the attack dogs rip someone apart that you're necessarily getting the raw from. It's like the, the points you get. Is the points. And the, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but jacking I, off, masturbating, <clears throat> and then coming to a porn video is a natural... Your shortcut and a natural rewards response. But I, I, I think like video game addiction can be a problem as well, for sure. Yeah, like, that's real too. But you, I'm more going, the, going the at violent that traditional angle. conservative argument. Yeah, yeah. I think um, I think there's levels to it. I I don't think you like make people more violent. But I mean, with VR now, if if someone made like a game that's really realistic and you're like from the perspective of like a torturer you're like waterboarding and people and waterboarding and like just like cutting bits out of them and stuff i think i think that could confuse the brain to where you're yeah. desensitizing yourself if you actually can't to... tell the difference well i would say yeah. if you look at people who have committed like grave crimes the thing that they use to stimulate their horrible like mental illness because nobody who's committing mass killings are mentally okay they're not playing video games they're watching videos on the internet they're watching horrible torture videos on the internet yeah. they're not playing call of duty but even if they way. were that's not necessarily an indictment of video games though either no they're not at all right so how i'm just trying to get to that difference between pornography and that because it's like excessive well, I, I, imagery I don't think um, there's inherent, like, positive, like, brain feedback from seeing violence and gore. Whereas if you see, like, as a man, a straight man looking at, like, a CG woman like Mrs. Incredible. Mm. We can looking pretty... at her butt in the mirror. Yeah, or when she's, like, stuck in the doors and it's like... Yeah, <laughs> um... <laughs> That's the best scene in the movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the part you rewind. Um, <laughs> I think like that. That is like, oh, huh? you know, brain, brain, brain you likey. Remember that, yeah. Brain likey. Because like, I guess not so fast the about, dopamine but, release you're getting in like a Call of Duty game, it's like coming first on the team or like yeah, and the clinks when you get a kill and the, the sound the, effects, the yeah, the shit popping up and saying you're yeah. the fucking coolest guy like, ever born, knowing that you've overcome another player out yeah, there yeah yeah like that's the reward loop yeah that's that's the more dangerous stuff i think no that's the more addictive that is addictive that's i'm not saying more than subject. porn uh, i'm saying that's more dangerous than violence in a game you know when when i'm playing dead space and like some dude's skin is falling off and stuff he's turning into a yeah. alien zombie that's like oh that's gross i i inherently don't like that i like that i like the video game because uh -huh. I'm playing it to be scared, 
and what it's showing me is scaring me. You know, it doesn't make me want to go and strip like, and flash off. There's a level where it becomes so goofy that it's almost funny. Yeah, yeah. Like Doom like, is and, funny. Yeah, and Gears of War. And Gears like, of War. When someone's head explodes, it's it's <laughs> that that doesn't happen. People's heads don't explode. It's so like, like cartoony and exaggerated. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like so a there's style, there's like a, the a huge disconnect. Bill or something. Yeah, yeah. And often, the more violent something goes, the less realistic it becomes. Yeah, it's weird that. Mm -hmm. The more obscured violence is, is it can be more impactful. Yeah. Yeah, leave it to the imagination. Yeah. So, all in all, the the uh, avoid waterboarding, waterboarding minigame from Modern Warfare 1. Really good. Really good game. Is there really a waterboarding minigame? In the yeah, you have to dodge in, in being the waterboarded. <laughs> You're being in in the re the which one? Modern what Warfare One Two. Oh my god! No, so the no, 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 no. It's not, not called... the remaster of Modern Warfare One. The just, remade. It's MW One from like twenty. Yeah. It's MW One twenty. No, it's just MW Twenty Twenty. Yeah. Was it Twenty Twenty? Twenty Nineteen. Twenty Nineteen. Oh my god! Whichever one. Yeah, a waterboard dodging minigame. Yeah, you're you're in prison being waterboarded by a Russian. Because Americans would never waterboard him. Um, <laughs> I mean, that is the American tactic, is waterboarding. Yeah. They made that one. No, because they, they also did a thing in that game where there's there was like, um, <laughs> in real life, in the Middle East, uh, there was a highway called the Highway of Death. Yeah. Because the Americans just like, blasted it. it. Just blasted it to shit. The yeah. uh, strafed it with A-10 wargs. Yeah. And then the Highway of Death in Modern Warfare, literally called the Highway of Death, was Russians in a fictional mm. Middle Eastern country. Interesting. And the Russians made the Highway of Death, when in real life it was CIA funding, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that game sounds crazy. As well, someone who's not played it's, it. It is so morally corrupt, it's unreal. <laughs> <laughs> it's that blatant as well, that's what gets yeah, me. Yeah. And you you just know that like they they had to get approval and stuff, like the the guy who you throw the knife in the guy's eye, Modern Warfare Two, Shepard, original Modern Warfare Two. Yeah, 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 I remember that. Uh, his his like story now is like he's still kind of just a good guy, you know. They try to make him more, less I, cartoonishly evil. Well, he's, no, he's he, evil. he he can't be like fully evil. Did you finish the Modern Warfare Two campaign? No, I didn't even play it, though. Because his, his Where we shit, we bury it. Yeah. His his big traitorous act. One of the good guy main characters is like he was trying to do a good thing there. He just went about it the wrong way. So it's like what well, why I thought you he just... starts like World War Three. I thought that was like his fault. In the original, yeah. <laughs> and that's like a, a a a an American commander was the villain of a modern warfare game. Yeah. Cool. Interesting. Yeah. Actually kind of saying something. Mm-hmm. This new Modern Warfare, like, they don't have the balls. He's, like, kind of the villain. He meant well. He just did it the wrong way. He didn't go through the proper avenues. Yeah, he had good intentions, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he meant well. He meant well, committing these war crimes. <laughs> it's like, what? So when, when, when he's a bad guy, he's not even a bad guy? Pathetic. CIA funded fucking bullshit. The original Shepard had, point, had a point. Here well, we go. <laughs> huh? <laughs> well, he was anti-establishment. You really are the Joker, bro. He, he, he didn't like the system because of what he saw and what they did with the war being the original nuke and that they sacrificed the lives of all of his men. I never really fully understood his intention. <laughs> to be it was just like... He wanted us to end the, com the military-industrial complex because they didn't tell his soldiers about the nukes who lost loads of and men. And they knew about the nukes. Yeah, and they didn't tell him to, to fur the further the their goals. So he was anti the system that he was a part of, and he just he went about it through extreme. The, the fact that Modern Warfare bit. Two looks subtle now in comparison is hilarious. Yeah. that's yeah. hilarious to me. It is more subtle. <laughs> <laughs> they they do straight up cut it. I'm not even going to get into it, otherwise we'll be talking about it for we've already been talking. Yeah, about it for too long. Um, let's do a couple more here before we wrap this one up. Like this one from Deport Ledweck. Question for Jim. Some episodes back, you mentioned you're learning piano and music theory. Are you still going? If so, how are you finding it? Have you discovered anything interesting about learning slash creative process? 
As a bassist, I love to see others challenging the brain's musical side, as I found it highly rewarding and mind-clearing use of free time. A oh, bonus question for everyone. I'm currently stuck on writing vocal melodies for original music. Can the Jar Boys help me write a song containing the words Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and if you're feeling extra daring, Friday perhaps? We might be able to get Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> Try Monday, going. Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday through Thursday. Thursday. You can't just do that again though, it needs to be something new. Hmm. Monday's coming up. Towers, Tuesday's Tuesday. coming up. Wednesday's nearly here. Thursday's over there. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that works. But yeah, I, uh, learning music is extremely satisfying. Like mm. it's. it's <laughs> nice. When was the point where it went? Um, when I was sat at my piano, and I'd been told like a few of these rules, mm. and I was just like, sort of playing. Uh, what? Well, because basically all I'm doing at the minute is scales. Mm. Like if if you can understand scales and stuff, you you can do pretty much anything from there. Um, so I was just like, there's there's a thing called like the circle of fifths, mm. right? So like, I, I won't get too into the nitty gritty, but you can you can work out every major key by like there's five fingers, right? Mm. So the the first major C is no sharps, right? mm -hmm. and then it goes up by one when you go to the fifth. Yeah. So you go to G, mm -hmm. and then you go up. That's got one sharp, and then the next one has two sharps, and then three sharps, and then four sharps. What does sharp mean? You know the black notes on a keyboard. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's it's legit as simple as that, and then to work out minors. Which have the same sharps as majors mm -hmm. when you go three semitones down. So then you can work that out. You could like sharpen the, or, yeah, sharpen the seventh, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> but it's, it's all these like rules and things that it's been super satisfying to not know it and then gradually work it out. And then do it over and over and over. So then mm. when you sit down and you're just like, okay, I'm going to do like G sharp major. And then you just do it. Do you like try to deconstruct songs when you listen to them? Like listen out to um, the way things are structured? I, I, I don't think I'm that good. Right. Um, because like you get people that are pitch perfect or whatever yeah. the term is. Yeah, yeah. Where they hear like a chord or a note and they're like, oh, that's D major mm -hmm. or D sharp. D flat, and yeah, I I can't do that. Mm. You know, I I might be able to work it out with time. Um, <coughs> but yeah, super fun. I I haven't really tried like making music. You know, mm. I'm not there yet. I'm still very fresh. Fresh, um, born fresh on the subject. Yeah, I've I, I'm only just recent like out of the womb. I guess you That's fair, say. you gotta put 10,000 hours in for your pro, so... 10,000 hours? Yeah. But yeah, it, it's... it's Some some day, because I've been working quite late recently, and it's like, I could turn on my PC and play a video game for an hour, mm -hmm. or I could just sit at my piano and... just work shit out. Mm-hmm. And... I respect that. Yeah. I feel, I feel as though... You know, productive. In, instead of un unlocking like two more guns in Battlefield, uh, learning five more chords means more to me. That's mm. going to translate into the whole of the rest of my life, mm. not just this video game. It's a good attitude. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> let's end on this one then from HMPO. Bear Bear Mingers. First of all, I just want to say thank you for the cast. I've been going through a lot right now, and one of the few things that's really helped me has been looking forward to each new episode. Aww. So I really do want to say thank you guys for doing what you do. Now that the sappy part is out of the way, <laughs> I need your opinion Don't on something. That was my name. <laughs> this is going to be kind of a f throwback to a classic jar discussion, specifically James's incredible culinary creations. Back in college, I worked at a restaurant, so normally I got most of my meals from work, meaning I didn't buy too many groceries during that time. When I wasn't at work and I had to cook for myself, I had a couple of go-to meals. 
One was what I called my signature pasta salad. Basically, it was just spaghetti noodles, black beans, parmesan cheese, and Italian dressing. Got my grains and proteins in. Sometimes if I was feeling extra bougie, I might buy some radishes or broccoli to throw in. Now, I always thought this was pretty normal. A pretty normal struggle meal. However, my fiancé thinks this is absolutely disgusting and forbids me from ever making it again. So I need your opinion. Is this a good meal for a struggling 20-something, or is it truly revolting? Thanks for everything, and as a little incentive for agreeing with me just now, I'm going to start becoming a patron soon. Really looking forward Wait. to James reading Give my patron money. name. Legend. Um... That's fine. I got some issues wait, with this. Wait, remind remind me of the ingredients. So it was spaghetti noodles, black beans, parmesan cheese, and Italian dressing. Huh? No olive oil? Yeah. Mm. That sounds fine. Nah. What, if Italian James dressing? is the only one liking it, then you might have some problems here. Black beans? Uh-huh. Black beans can go with pasta, um, but you need more going on. You need more going on. Yeah, there. but this is yeah. a struggle meal. This yeah, is a struggle meal. When it comes to a struggle meal... But I think even struggle meal, it would be more acceptable to just have pasta, olive oil, parmesan. Yeah, I've done that. Yeah, but that doesn't, that's not getting your nutrients in. If you want more, like... If it's a uh, whole wheat. But like a, a, a carton of, or a tin of uh, chopped tomatoes is not, like, it's not expensive. No, that's true. Get some of that, get a sauce going. An onion is what, like, 40p? Get an onion in there. Or, no, no, well, no, on the on the case of, you know, that's, that's not a struggle meal. A struggle, a struggle meal. meal. No, a struggle I meal. I make you a really no, nice no, no, pasta no, no, for, no, no, like, No, struggle meal weeks. is your, your fucking work all day. You haven't done a food shop recently. You get home, you need food, you open your drawers, and you see what you have and you cook. Yeah, okay. That's no, a struggle if, meal. If, if you're struggling for time as well as money, then, yeah, you're right. You don't do any cooking. But students... Like you don't want to prepare any vegetables, any... You said you put broccoli in, and... When you yeah. had time. Yeah. Well, students have all the time in the world, so... Well, yeah, don't do anything. Not, yeah, that's not really an excuse. Oh, I'm just saying, when, when the fact... I've before I party. Oh, I, I need to try and get over my hangover so I can be hangover, <laughs> hungover tomorrow. But no, this Fuck is the it. thing. If um, um, a struggle meal is like beans on toast, like that's better than beans on toast, so that's fine. Is it better than beans See, on toast? Yeah, I think beans on toast is not better. Not beans on toast, Be I mean beans on pasta. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Beans but on toast. beans on beans toast, on toast, toast. Is, also, is also a struggle meal. Yeah, but it's fire. It's yummy. No, it's not. Get some cheese on there. Soggy Get fucking bread. Ugh. No. If no. you do it right, it won't Toast it right, cover it with the cheese so it's got Yeah, why would I have fucking no, cheese? No, why would I have cheese? No. Because you're a human being? Cheese on fucking beans? Fuck off. Yeah, then the beans Jesus melt Christ. the cheese. No, but but this is the strat, right? You toast. You <laughs> toast the toast. Yeah. Obviously. Of course. Then you put the cheese on the toast, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Then you put the cheese under the grill. Mm. So it's pre-melted. It's cheese on toast, right? Right. Maybe a bit of like okay, a little bit of Worcester or something. Oh, of, come on, a little mm. bit of uh, pickle, even maybe. Oh, pickle be on. Then beans on top, maybe even with a bit of curry powder stirred in. Yeah, that's a bougie beans. On and toast. then you chuck two fucking fried eggs on top as well. Yeah, yeah, the egg is that. Is a that bad. will sustain you for yeah two weeks. Mm hmm. It's a meal. That's a big one right there. Yeah. Disgusting. Mm -mm. Yeah, when I was struggling. baby. I used to do that all the time when I was, like, struggling for time, when I was working till, like, 10, yeah. 11 at night. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, Interesting. Out. But I think you got to work on that. This. Uh, yeah, just add a bit of this and a bit of that. Pasta salad. Olive oil. But I had a pasta salad the other day, though, that was damn yummy. That was pesto, though. That had pesto in there. Maybe if you just added pesto in there, it might be nice, to be yeah. honest. I just don't know how I feel about the black beans, to be honest. Controversial. Yeah. Um, I'd sooner uh, go with, like, <gasps> peas. When I, yeah, when I, I'm th I just think of more Mexican stuff when I think of black beans. Yeah, exactly. Like a burrito or a... Like a chili or something. Fajita or... Chiquito or... I love chicken. And I love beans. My ear hurts. I love rice. Mm. Well, there's others on my ear, Bleep that. Well, any final words before we run off into the night? Um, sorry again for being cringy. Unsubscribe, unclick the bell button. But, like. Gee, <laughs> I'm cold.
I'm cold. Put the dressing gown on. No, don't. Put I'm not it putting, on, boy. I'm not putting the dressing gown on. I'll sit like this. I'm a perfect level. I've even got the heating on just for you, bro. Yeah, I'm just normal. La pe, la pe, la pe, I saw la pe. It's because I don't wear jumpers like you. Why don't you wear one then? I need to go. I need, I need to, to get, get a jumper <laughs> like that. I just need to get like fleeces. Just get some Number hoodies. Number one big dewey oil. Get, get. We could always get you the, you know, the poncho. They're warm. Do you want a poncho warm? No, they've got spiders in. <laughs> they got spiders Number in. Number one big dewey oil. Spiders in my mind making me so loud. Do you Wait. ever open your eyes for number? Oh, Jamie, <laughs> did you not do your <laughs> job? Go on, do it then. The number. Number one thing to me, boy. <laughs> Doing it. What? what? Fuck sake! Why do I have to wear this? Because it's really comfy and nice. No, it's been it's been covered in fucking oh. Jamie here. <laughs> what is the jar jobs, right? Jim normally does the audio. He did this time. Um. Yeah, because I was doing a poo. Because oh, he was doing a poo. But normally, James's thing is he changes the number. Don't <laughs> 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 get testicles. Don't get You got everything. You got everything. <laughs> so James's job is to change the number. And he somehow made it the hardest part. <laughs> he's like, he's made it, he's made it the, the most free. He's just throwing oh. the shit all over the place. Yeah, watch this. He reloads it like a foul. <laughs> He just he uses the new one to flick the old one. Yeah, yeah like and a foul. You can never find it. <laughs> no. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, let me get in on that. This is what you need, James. You need one of these guys. I've you got one. They get gunky at the bottom. What? The, what? Well, you just clean it. You wash it. Yeah, you just rinse it out. <laughs> I put it in a bit. No. <laughs> Just get a, okay, just go to Tesco and get like a big two litre bottle of like yummy j water, like strawberry water. No, that's and, grim. And then, well. I'm not spending money to get water. Comes out the taps, bro. <laughs> well, that <laughs> but costs you money. To, but you need to carry it around, is my point. Is you need there. A receptacle. <laughs> you need to decant the water into something. Yeah.